What's up, nation? What is the deal? What is the deal? What is the deal? We are outside of Tier 1 Motoring, guys, and we are about to go in there and see <laughs> and see what they have done to the 2020 Jeep Wrangler Sport Unlimited so far. We should be wrapping this up really, really soon. It was actually supposed to be done already, but they are taking a little bit longer, but that's okay because we want it done properly. So um, we're gonna go in here and take a look at what they've done and perhaps get a little explanation and maybe a little sample. I don't know. So I don't know how much progress they've made so far. So let's uh, go in here to check it out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop new videos. Gonna be dropping more frequently as we get make progress on the truck guys and for those of you guys who aren't subscribed to my first channel that's youtube.com backslash a dub productions 21,000 subscribers on that channel trying to get the 1,000 subscribers on this channel so make sure you subscribe guys let's get out of here all right we are all stripped down on the ring Look at this, guys. Got the carpet out right here. I think we're gonna mount a, uh, here's the amp right here that we're putting in. This is JL amp, right? And they got the wires pretty much ran, which is dope. Excited about that. Oh, 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 oh. I should have took all that crap home. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I didn't anticipate since initially I was like, I want to keep that space, but you know. If you guys are only using a little bit of it, awesome. I love that tool, right? I use mine like crazy. Let me tell you, I had actually lost it before, but it was like in a compartment in, in, in my other car. But I would be heartbroken if I lost mine. Right. Actually no, I wouldn't, I'd just buy another one. <laughs> I got mine Black Friday, so I got a good deal. I was supposed to put this in and install this, <laughs> but okay. I never got to rent to it yet. Got it. Uh, yeah. Does it get the JL sticker right here? Yeah, they don't put it on because you can orient it right side up or upside right. down depending on how you do the amp. Cool. Now that's not going to overheat or anything hooked up like that, right? No. no. Not unless you smother it. Okay. Nah. <laughs> I definitely will not. Don't plan on smothering it. I actually totally forgot that I had this lighter jack right here. I can hook up something right there and mount it right here and plug stuff in. I totally forgot that that was there. Sheesh. So you guys, everything's ran already? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. This plugs into the box. No, oh no, that goes to the amp. That's the box, power to the box. That's for all the main speakers. So, uh... Where are they? That's my project for today is to mount the tops. Okay. You got them now? The uh, yeah. speakers? Yeah. <laughs> and what, what inches are these? Six and a half. These are six and a half. Okay, so these guys will go somewhere in this neighborhood. Nice. Okay, awesome because I thought you're gonna and that was gonna block that from my own. So that's where you guys normally mount it right there? There is no normal. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> this thing it makes the most sense. It gets them out of the You know, they're not blocking anything from the front. And right. It's space that otherwise isn't being used. So. Awesome. Seems like the spot to go. Yeah, that works. That 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 works perfect for me. That works perfect for me because it's like I said, it's out of the way. Yep. And I can still put stuff in here. Yep. And um and I can still take the top off. That 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 works perfect for me. Yep. But how are you gonna mount it though? That's what I gotta work on today. Yeah, because it's got to be st stable. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> oh, man. So that's going to be great. Yeah, well, we got the whole roll bar to come up with some options for it, so. Mm-hmm. Pup. Got the pup there. Sass, not everyone that comes here is here to feed you or pay attention to you. Beastie. <laughs> you sit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's not here to do you any favors. And the, um, the thing that talks to the radio, that's already 
Yeah, I got some nice LED lights here. I love these things. What what brand is that? that New York. I can. Oh. Cheapies. If we yeah. break them, it's no big deal, but they're great for work lights. Hell yeah. Great for work lights and video lights. Look how bright that thing is. Yes. <laughs> well, you got one in there. Can dial it Dim down. it. And then I see you got tungsten or yeah, daylight. You can warm it up. Nice. Cool it off. And they're LED so they don't get hot. Oh, uh, they still get hot. Really? Yeah. Not crazy hot. It's not like old school drop light that you burn your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can do yourself third degree burns. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta use gloves if you wanna freaking. Yeah, these will get toasty, but they won't care. Yeah. But it's so much light that you don't have to have it right mm -hmm. up in your business. So we started with a little system and now it's gone. Gone full deep. bore, so. Yep. <laughs> Hooking up the ejector seat now. <laughs> ejector seat? <laughs> That's good. That's good for my girlfriend. Yeah, if she gets grumpy, then. Shoot her out the roof. Hit the yeah. Nice. Sometimes you just have to have some silence, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to take the decals off and put them on properly. I got some tips from somebody on how to do that right. Yeah, the ones on the front, the Dubnation ones. Uh, did you do them dry? Yeah, exactly. I yeah. didn't know. I didn't know that trick. Yeah. Yeah, wet it up and then smooth it out. I, I had no idea. No, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah, you definitely got them creased up. Yeah. Placement's pretty good though. Just got a bunch of creases. I just aired it and <laughs> just eyed it and figured it out. This one's twisted a couple degrees. Definitely, definitely twisted. But they're easy to make, you know, so I'll just make it over and put them on there. Yeah, it's harder to get them off than it is to put them on. That's true. <laughs> yeah. The only one that looks good to me right now is that $3,000 freaking Pioneer system. I mean, that, uh, what is it? JL's Alpha. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting to see the uh, the Stinger 10 inch for the JL, but we have not seen one yet. So, so but that restyle has got the, the bezel that just looks sick. Yeah, they do a great job. Yeah. first couple years were a little shaky on the restyle because they missed all the important features in the process of doing it too specific, but mm. they kind of got it figured out now finally. Which they should, because it's not cheap, but... Heck no, it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. Cool. Alright, so I guess... The... Yeah, they did the first generation ones just as everybody was rolling out CarPlay and it didn't, it didn't have CarPlay. So it was like three thousand bucks and didn't have CarPlay. It didn't have Apple CarPlay. No. Three thousand bucks. Yeah, it didn't. Have was that a disaster? I don't know about a disaster. There's cheap people buy them anyway, but. Right. But it was definitely something that everybody pointed out. It was oh, yeah. like, this is like the biggest feature right now, and the right. most expensive radio doesn't have it. So. Yeah. A little, a little weird at the time, but. Yeah. Yeah, they've got cool ones now for the JL. They've got um, all the Toyota trucks. They've got some really cool ones for. So. Yeah. That's that, a good application. And I don't have the Apple CarPlay in here now, so and that's what I want. So. That's gonna have to change. Definitely. Apple CarPlay and that upgrade. It's, it's just once I get that head unit in there, I'll probably be done. You know what I mean? Like. Into the Jeep. It's never done. Wise. That's true. That's true. Because there's always something. There's always something. <laughs> Can't be done. I was looking at the, uh, you know, the panel roofs. There's this guy on Instagram who does them, the pan, the panoramic roofs. Right. I was looking at those like, but I would never take a, try to roll the dice and do it myself. And he's like, yeah, you can do it yourself. No, 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 no. I mean, I got a Dremel and everything, but yeah, this, uh, you gotta be. One of our, uh, one of our female Jeep owners has the the front section. It's acrylic. Okay. So it's like big giant sunroof. Right. If you like having some sun exposure, that's pretty good. Yeah, but hit the ones that he does. I think she's got more money in tops than most people have in, in their vehicle. <laughs> she's got hard top. We just put a soft top. She's got the, the, the acrylic front piece. She's got all kinds of stuff. Mm. Let me see. This is a good example of how Jeeps are never done. Yeah, there's always something to do. That's the reason why I got it, though. You know, I wanted to need a little outlet. 
panoramic roofs. This guy right here is on Instagram. He's got all. Was the leather a kit, or did you just take it out and embroider it? No, I I uh, I took it. My, uh, those are cloth seats. Mm -hmm. I took it to uh, who did it? Um, the Cats Catskin did it. Okay. Yeah, I sent it. I went to Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and there's a place that installed it. They sent the Catskin there. They did a great job, if you ask me. The Catskin kits are really good. Yeah, I wanted something as factory quality yep. as possible, and I think yeah. they did. They did it. I like the stitch that they did. Um, I would say in most cases the Catskin kits are probably better than the factory. <laughs> yeah. The the more of the seed is leather. Right. So. And. What's crazy is when I was there getting my seats done, car dealership, they had brand new zero mile cars. Oh, yeah. Like they were, they, I, I physically watched the guy put a hole in the side of a minivan and install a window and it looked like, yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah, people need something specific, man. So there you have it, guys. We are inside Tier 1 Motoring and they are doing their thing on the Jeep Wrangler. I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like when we get it done i can't wait to show you guys what i'm gonna do with this thing it's gonna be incredible and then we're gonna straighten up the decals and everything like that so stay tuned all right make it all official here you know? yeah. gotta be official with the uh face yeah. mask covid 19 yeah, proof in this building that's what we're doing <laughs> all right guys take it easy all right thank you. thanks that's it guys so there you go guys, we see that the truck is getting all organized, it's about to be over with and done, I can't wait to show you guys the results, we're going to be having parties in the whip guys, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it with other people, subscribe to the other channel, youtube.com backslash Productions. youtube.com backslash Alan Wade, and I'm out guys, I'll see you guys on the next update or the next video, we might do a vlog in between i don't know the guy he said it might be done today <sighs> Woo, excited talk to you guys later peace